To help others better understand our drawings and designs, we want to add labels and generate a bill of material. For both tools list and label, there are basically two ways on how to work with them. The first way is to activate the tool first and based on your selection, select what you want to either label or list. The other way, which I will use in this presentation, is to do the pre-selection first and click on the tool after. The tool will automatically either label or list everything that is part of your pre-selection. Now we have to left click to set the starting point and depending on the position of my cursor it will use two lines or one line. Another option is to hit the shift key and realign the main axis of the labels. On the parameter box, you see that you can select between long text and short text and that you can add the information of material if you added a name to the name field and you can add the material. Again, one line or two lines. Another very handy feature is the option count segments. If you have very big drawings that are really fuzzy because there are a lot of labels, you definitely want to check this box in order to clean up your drawings and help others better understand them. A left click confirms our selection. For the list tool we do the same, we pre-select and hit the list button. It will generate all our selection and put it in our component list window. The copy to clipboard button allows you to work with all the information in other programs. Please look at those options. The count segments option will sum up, for example, all ball balls and count them up, in this case to four. And you can also check the box total length of straight lines. It will sum up all the straight pipe one inch we used in our model. I hope I was able to show you how our tools work and thank you that you were part of that presentation. Goodbye.